Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from Interest.co.nz and welcome to a special report brought to you in association with Bank of New Zealand. This is our top 10 charts for 2010 and we pick out 10 of the best charts we've got and remember at Interest.co.nz we love our charts to give you an idea of what's happening with the economy, with the government's finances. And today we look at the outlook for New Zealand's net foreign debt. Remember we've looked at the gross number, now, look, now let's look at the net number. And it's important from a global point of view because the likes of Standard & Poor's are keeping a close eye on it. And remember, 100% of GDP is seen as the danger threshold for net foreign debt. Now you might recall if you, you looked at number five in our series of top 10, we looked at government debt, which is relatively low, at around about that 15% mark, rising to about 30%. The problem for New Zealand's net foreign debt is a private debt problem, mostly to do with corporate debt held by the banks on behalf of us as households with all those mortgages. So let's look at the outlook for net foreign liability that, liabilities that puts together the government's debt plus the corporate debt held by the banks. And you can see here that we were around about 70-80% for most of the 2000s. And then the housing boom happened, we started borrowing heavily from the rest of the world to pump it into our houses, and then we dropped from around 80% to around about 95% here. And it's interesting though, this is the government's view of that net foreign debt track through to 2014. It's the freshest one from the mid-year budget update that came out in mid-December. And you can see here that the red line is the new track for the outlook for net foreign debt. Now it seems counterintuitive. Remember we had a pretty poor uh, budget, a mid-year budget update. The government's debt track is, is actually worse. But the government sees a better net debt track for the next five or six years. And that's because New Zealand is experiencing a commodity price boom. And that's helping the export sector to earn more in theory to repay some of that debt. But you can see the track gets better up until about 2011 and then starts to deteriorate again. In fact, it's heading back towards that 90-95% level. But that's because the Reserve Bank and the Treasury still expect commodity prices to be high, but that they might d dip off again through 2012-13. And it's obviously much better than it was at the May uh, estimate of what's happening with net foreign debt when it got down to that 100% mark. This is the key thing for all of us to watch because the ratings agencies and our creditors are watching it. When that net foreign debt level gets to 100% of GDP, then the alarm bells will go off. And that will be a time for the government and the rest of us to keep an eye on what's happening with government spending. I'm Bernard Hickey. That was the sixth in our series of the top 10 charts for 2010, brought to you in association with Bank of New Zealand.